Hey, Rick Usbell again from Cabaret Design Group, answering the question, how do you design and build a curved bar top? What's the secret to building a curved bar top? Discover the design tips for the proper clearances, layout, fabrication, and installation of radius bar tops. Over the years, I've noticed that many people have a preference for curved surfaces in bar and nightclub design projects. Long, flowing, and clever curves are very popular, but this comes with a hefty price tag. The finished product, no matter what type, is the end result of extensive painstaking detail. To achieve a first-class finished product requires a fair amount of experience and attention to detail that culminates in practical design, fabrication, and installation. This is especially true with commercial bar design because there are so many interacting components and everyone who is involved with the process has to take extra time to ensure all details are correct. The key to successful radius bar top design is consistency in the finished product. To illustrate this, let's look at an example of one of our recent projects. Here are the key factors for a successful curved bar top. Number one, long sweeping curves which create visual appeal. Number two, the radius should be symmetrical about the center line of the bar as illustrated here. Number three, the overhang needs to be adequate at the ends while not being excessive in the center. As illustrated in this example, the overhang at the ends is 8 and 3 8 inches, which is 21.27 centimeters, which is the same as the overhangs on the return legs here and here. But the maximum overall depth cannot exceed 32 inches, the maximum recommended depth for a radius bar top. In order to ensure accuracy in the overall finish of your bar, here are a couple of design tips. Number one, draw the entire bar plan in CAD as I've drawn here. Number two, include separate CAD layers for the bar top and underlayment. If we zoom in here, I'll demonstrate this. First, I'll highlight this object which says bar tops down here in the object layer, and then I'll highlight this object which down here indicates bar underlayment. That's that layer. Number three, minimize the number of finished pieces. Number four, for wood products, locate a fabrication shop that has a CNC router. That's short for computer numerical control. It's an automated machine tool. Number five, for solid surfaces such as granite, quartz, or marble, the cutting needs to be performed on a CNC water jet. You'll normally furnish your digital information in the form of an electronic file in the .dwg or .dxf format. If the finished top is a solid surface, you'll want to have the underlayment cut on a CNC router as plywood isn't compatible with water cutting. Your contractor should install the bar base and underlayment and can also install wood bar tops. However, installation of solid bar tops is usually performed by the vendors who fabricate them, who use their own installation crews as this work is more particular. The installation is the make it or break it phase of every project and here are some tips to help ensure your project's success. Number one, make sure that the entire bar base is well anchored and is plumb, level, and square. Number two, always use at least one layer of three quarter inch, that's 19 millimeter plywood underlayment for wood bar tops and two layers for solid surfaces glued and screwed. Number three, install a three by three by 12 gauge steel angle and bracket continuously along both sides of the bar base at the top as shown in this sketch. 
These are designed to stabilize bar tops. This hardware is commonly used with lightweight steel construction. Please reference the downloadable cut sheet. Number four, stay away from mitered corners as the material from opposing sides is very tricky to keep level and therefore aren't compatible with a good installation. That would be this area right here, folks. Do not use miters. I deliberately used butted seams for this design for this very reason. That's this joint right here. Experience goes a long way to any successful bar installation, but the above design tips and advice should help ensure a very satisfactory result. Best of luck.